Hi friends, it's Mr. B here again on a nice bright sunny Wednesday morning. And as you can see, I'm wearing some green today. Uh, Mrs. Napper Sharp has said, let's do a shine nice and green for mental health awareness on Wednesday. So I pulled out one of my green shirts and I'd like to talk to everyone at MCPS a little bit about mental health week. Okay, and a little bit more seriously about what mental health is. I think that green was a perfect color to do for today because in kindergarten this week we're talking about the zones of regulation and that just means simply recognizing what your emotions are and realizing you can change them and getting yourself back to green back to a calm, back to a happy, back to a restful state. Okay, and that's really what we're talking about. Okay, so for my kindergartners, my grades one, two, and three, I wanna to talk to you guys for a minute. Okay, so for you, this week is all about learning to talk about how you're feeling. Learning to talk about your emotions. Okay? And that's tough to do sometimes. That can be really tricky. I find that difficult to do sometimes. But talking about how you're feeling really, really does make a difference. Okay? So that's why we're talking about zones of regulation and realizing in yourself what you're feeling. Realizing the signs in yourself of how you're doing how your brain is working, how your heart is feeling, and then taking that information and then using that information to get back to green, to get back to the place where you want to be. Okay? So I'd like you guys to think about that this week. And I'd like you to think about not just yourself, but your brothers and sisters, your moms and dads. I'd like you to try and have that conversation. So if you're in JK, SK, grade one, two, or three, I would challenge you this week to have a conversation about your feelings and someone else's. Go up to your mom or dad or grandma, grandpa, or aunt and uncle, whoever you're living with, and say, hey, how are you doing today? And if they say, they say well, I'm fine, say, okay, but why? Why are you just fine? and ask them to talk about things that have been going on, feelings they've been having, okay? And get that information out there so you can then help them. And sometimes just talking about it is enough help. We're talking more about zones of regulation in kindergarten, and we're talking about how to help a friend, help somebody else get back to that green, okay? So for some of my older students, being able to talk about your feelings can be really difficult. It can get harder as you get older. And that seems a bit silly. As you get older, you should be better at expressing yourself. Better at explaining yourself. But those sorts of things that feel personal and private, they can become a lot more difficult to talk about. Especially with somebody like a mom or dad or a caregiver at home. Okay, so what I'd like you to try and do this week, my older friends, is to have that conversation with someone else. Think about someone else you can have that conversation with. It could be a friend, it could be a peer, it could be a teacher, um, it could be an aunt or an uncle or, or someone that you could feel okay with going to and having that conversation about how you're feeling, how you're doing. If you're noticing a pattern of feelings and emotions in yourself that you really want to take a look at, okay? So think about that person. And if possible, reach out to them. Talk to them, okay? Now, moms and dads, parents, grandparents, caregivers at home, what I'd like you guys to try and do this week 
is have that conversation with your kids and have that conversation with your partner. Say, hey, how are you doing? This is a time where we need to be thinking about each other, thinking about each other's feelings, thinking about how each other are reacting to what's going on around us. There are so many changes that it can be really tricky. And to simply have that conversation about feelings can make a big difference. And this is coming from someone who is terrible at that. And I'll tell you a little bit more about myself and why I'm making this little video today. Um, when I was a kid, these sorts of conversations didn't happen. Okay? My mom and dad didn't know to come ask me how I was feeling. And they'd say, how was your day at school? And we'd talk about the day at school. But they didn't ever dig deeper. They didn't ever know to say, well, those things that were happening to you, the things that you were doing, how did that make you feel? How did that make you think? How did that make you react? They didn't know to ask those questions. Um, things like depression, anxiety, post-traumatic stress disorder, those weren't really widely understood very well 30 years ago. There weren't great treatment programs 30 years ago. A lot of the stuff that we talk about this week for mental health awareness is new. And it's changing and evolving all the time. So when I was a kid, I didn't have someone to talk to about that. So I, as I grew up, didn't get better at it. It's a muscle I didn't exercise. It's something I didn't practice. I got better at hockey. I got better at soccer. I got better at playing the drums. I got better at reading. I got better at all kinds of stuff. But I didn't get better at expressing how I was feeling and how I was doing. I actually got worse because I wasn't exercising that muscle. I wasn't trying it. And that caused some problems later on. Now, my mom and dad didn't know the signs to watch out for either. So when I got older, I started struggling with depression. And depression is really tricky. Anxiety is really tricky. These mental health problems are really tricky. If I walked into school the next time I saw you, and I had a cast on my leg, you would say, oh, Mr. Bond broke his leg. Right? If I walked in the next time I see you and I'm, <laughs> I'm, yelling and I'm just sniffling and <coughs> coughing, you think, oh, Mr. Bond's probably got a cold. Right? You can see that. You can see that my body has a problem. Right? But the problem with our brain is you can't see inside it. You can't see what's going on in there. Right? If there is something wrong, if it's not just talking about your feelings, not having ups and downs, having a normal life, having normal emotions, going through good times and bad times, if it becomes more than that, if it becomes month after month of being worried all the time, month after month of being sad all the time and not knowing how to deal with it, things aren't changing, things aren't getting better, that might not be just regular life anymore. That might be something else. That might be something in your brain that's not working quite right. It's sort of like your organs. If I was having kidney problems or heart problems, it'd be hard to see. You can't see that like you can a broken leg or a cut or a scrape. Like I've got little cuts here from picking up sticks and stuff in my backyard can't see those problems. And unlike your organs, which doctors and nurses and stuff know lots about and can generally fix, the brain's a lot trickier. Okay? So you need to be aware of those warning signs, not only in people around you, but in yourself as well. Okay? So personally, I struggled this, with this for years, and it took me 
decades to figure out how to get help and to figure out how this all worked. I've now got a good support network. I've got family and friends that know to ask me these questions, to talk to me about them. I've got a doctor I can talk to whenever I need to if I'm saying, hey, things aren't working, stuff's going on, help me out. Just like you would if you were sick, if anything else was wrong. If something was wrong in your arms or your toes or your nose or your mouth, you'd know who to talk to. You'd go to a dentist, you'd go to a doctor, right? And that's the same thing you need to do when something is going on in your brain that you just can't figure out and you can't help, okay? So, I know this was long, but it's really important. And I can't stress how important it is. I can't stress that enough, okay? What I would like everyone to try and do this week, everyone at MCPS, all the Thunderbolts, what I would like you to try and do this week is have a conversation. Have that conversation about how you're feeling and how you're managing everything. A lot of us teachers are excited to be connecting with you again, but it can be difficult for a lot of different ways. We're not getting the same feedback. You're not getting the same feedback. There are, we're not being able to teach and a lot of that's falling on to parents and that's stressful. Never mind a global pandemic or anything else, it's stressful. So have that conversation with your partners, with your kids. Kids, have that conversation with your brothers and sisters, moms, dads, grandmas and grandpas. All right, do that for me. And I'll see you guys again real soon.